Here are the types of content that Twitter loves. Twitter was one of the first social networks that I was really active on. I was really early on Twitter, hence I've been able to build up over 443,000 followers. And over the years, what I love about Twitter is that their algorithm doesn't try to suppress your content compared to what Facebook and some of the other social networks do. People follow you, you tweet, they can see it if they're on, if they're not on, they won't see it. Throughout that time, I've experimented with a lot of content types on Twitter, and I figured out the type of content that people on Twitter love versus the ones that they don't. But before I dive into those content types, let me know in the comments what you think people prefer the most. And also let me know what type of content you post most often on Twitter. So let's dive right into those content types. Number one, questions. People love when you ask them questions on Twitter. Here's an example. Would you rather have two plus million followers or a million dollars? What do you think that my audience said? Funny enough, I assume that most people would take a million bucks because if you invested in the S&P, you're roughly generating 9% a year, you can live off that. But shockingly, my audience mainly said they would prefer 2 million followers. Now that tweet generated 107 retweets, 77 quote tweets, and 797 likes. In total, it received 167,000 impressions. If you're gonna ask people questions on Twitter, make sure that they're thought-provoking questions like the one I created. Content type number two, live videos. Live videos don't generate as much engagement as questions, but I found them to be a great source of revenue. Every month I hold the webinar and I even go live on Twitter with that webinar. That webinar on conversion rate optimization that I just showed you had 84 retweets and 61 likes. Nowhere near the amount of engagement that the question one had, and it only has 19,308 impressions, which is around eight times less than the question one. But it generated me three leads and one customer. That's much more than the question one ever generated me. Content type number three, tweet storms. By creating multiple tweets around a specific topic, such as the one I did on voice search here, you can get a lot of engagement. I started off by talking about how 62% of Americans have used some sort of voice assistant technology. Then I broke down the five ways and the first tweet that I included in the tweet storm was optimize for local search. Many voice searches are for local information and they are 3x more likely to be local searches than text-based ones. That tweet storm generated 24,563 impressions, 146 likes, 70 retweets, and four quote replies. Number four, quotes. I love putting out quotes on Twitter because it's great branding. Not for the reason that you're thinking. Here's an example of a quote. You can't buy more time in this world, so cherish every moment. It received 69,693 impressions, 576 likes, and 194 retweets. But what I love about quote content isn't the Twitter love. It's actually the offline love. A lot of times, people will take the quotes and cite you in other places. For example, I've seen my quotes appear literally in elevators. Some elevators have monitors, and it's kind of crazy. Some of these monitors pull quotes from Twitter, and I've seen mine appear. And again, crazy, but great branding. If you ever want more Twitter love, consider creating one of these four content pieces that I mentioned above. They work. And if you need extra help with your social media marketing or Twitter marketing, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell people about it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help you out. Thank you for watching.